The number one unfiltered reason why people are moving to Boise might shock you. We're gonna talk about jobs, we're gonna talk about areas of living, we're gonna talk about stores, we're gonna talk about retirees, young professionals, technologies, groups, chains, grocery stores, everything. But there's one thing that no one is talking about of why Boise's economy is so stable and the future is bright. We are talking about conservative America, the anti-woke, the red state Idaho. We're gonna dive into that because that is a huge reason and then everything else is just an appendage of that. So let's dive in. To why Boise is growing because of the conservatives that are moving here for like-minded folks like you. Look, Boise yields itself to a lot to behold. In fact, I was just talking to somebody the other day and we were talking about how there's a ton to do outside your back door in Boise. Now, traveling to Portland, Seattle, or Salt Lake might be a little bit of a drive, five, six, seven hours, but there's a ton to do. But that's not what people come here for. It used to be in the 2017, 2015, people were coming here because of cheap living. The driving force to having everyone move to Idaho now is actually because of our conservative values. Those things drive the economy. I don't care what any new channel tells you. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they write. That is what I see day in and day out. And everyone is afraid to say it and no one will. People are moving to Idaho because of the conservative values. And that's what's holding a large part of our economy together. Now, not 100%. It's not just built on that. Now, when we have the reason why people are moving here, that helps the infrastructure be built underneath it. And it is being built out just fine. I've worked with young professionals coming out here who can work remote. I've also worked with retirees who have come from California or Washington or others who have the money to put down cash and either buy cash or finance. I've seen families move here. I've seen singles move here. I've seen entrepreneurs move here. I've seen people who work for the man move here. One thing that you will notice as you drive around town, now I've said this before in other videos, is that the HOAs run a lot of Boise. It's a very good feel when you're in the neighborhood. I mean, there's a ton of common area. There's common area that butts up to the main road so you don't have houses backing up to main roads as much. You'll have a little bit of a barrier, maybe a berm, some trees. That all provides for a great feel when you're going around town. Now, if we want to get into the reasons people talk about on the news for why people are moving here, there is a valid argument to some of that. I would argue that the conservative values lead, but there are some good factors of why this place is stable and it's a great place. The tech market is actually pretty strong here. It's no Silicon Valley, it's no Silicon Slopes, but we have the likes of Count, we have Clearwater, we have Micron, HP, we have quite a few of those companies. This isn't a huge mecca for that, although Micron is huge here. Our healthcare system provides over 14,000 jobs between St. Al, St. Luke's and others. It's a huge, huge industry here. You might be surprised, you might not, that going between homes and neighborhoods, you'll actually pass a potato field or a mint field or a corn field, something like that. Agriculture actually has its presence here in the greater Boise area, not downtown Boise, obviously, but agriculture does play a big part in what we do here. Education has about 2,000 plus employees that includes, and if you wrap education in there with all the schools that we have around here, Boise State, C of I, NNU, College of Osteopathic Medicine, and the likes, that is over 2,000 employees. Now let's dive into some of the popular employees and their salaries. So these are found online. I'm sure there are differing opinions out there because we don't have to report that, right? Some of our big employers include Micron out there in Southeast Boise, Equifax, Equifax, which actually bought the company Count, huge tech company there in downtown Boise. HP used to be huge. It used to be absolutely huge in Boise. Now it's not so much. Balsam Brands actually employs quite a few people here in Boise. That's the Balsam Hill trees you see advertised on the Hallmark movies. St. Luke's Hospital and the healthcare system. JR Simplot, huge employer as well. In the hospital sector, again, St. Al's, the second largest hospital here in the Valley. There's also Cradle Point. Power Engineers. Vacasa. Sensi's another big one. They have those wickless candles that are located about Eagle and the freeway. They are doing great things and turning heads. Bodybuilding.com is another. Clearwater Analytics, they're downtown on the Grove. Western Power Sports. The accounting firm I Bailey and Lineman College out of Meridian slash Huna. Those are about 20 or so employers that have a huge effect on Boise's economy. When people hop in my car, they're usually asking about what stores we have here in the Valley. When we're looking at the neighborhood, they want to know how many minutes it is to such and such store or such and such place. They'll ask it on the phone, they'll ask it on the Zoom call. And so let me tell you what we have because it's more than just cornfields, it's more than just cows out here. We have a lot of stores that are common to you. We have Walmart, 
Costco, Fred Meyer, Winco, Target, Best Buy, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, those eight should help you feel a little bit more comfortable with what you're coming from. A lot of you coming from California or Washington want to know if we have stores to shop out. That's basically our core group. And the last employer we'll talk about is Amazon. Amazon is located there in Nampa and it's a distribution center if I'm not mistaken. And it employs a ton of people, it's a huge facility. And just like a lot of cities across America, Amazon is a huge employer. Now guys, a quick who am I? I am Brian Hymas. if this is your first time with me. I so enjoy making these videos for you. If this is your first time here, then welcome. It is good to have you. I am a real estate agent. I was born and raised in Boise, Idaho. I was an appraiser for a couple years. I've been selling real estate for the last six or seven, and I am happy to have you here. There is no greater compliment that I can receive than a phone call, a text, or an email from you saying that you're interested in moving to Boise, or you have questions about the market, or you have questions about Boise, you have questions about this, that, or the other. I'm happy to take that call. And if you're moving here with the intention of buying right away, I'm happy to take that call as well. I receive all those calls and anything in between. So if that's you, please, please, please call or text or email and I'd be happy to chat with you. One thing I love about Boise is the unique small shops and the business owners that there are around the town. It adds to a little bit of adversity and a nice little feel. The government here in Idaho and, and some of the local areas have actually incentivized businesses to start their businesses here, some tax incentives and things like that. Those small businesses actually account for a large percentage of employers in Idaho. And so you might be working for an Amazon or you might be working for my Micron, or you might just be working for Sally's accounting firm, right? That is actually something that is a huge backbone to our community. And now a bonus about Boise's economy to make all you Californians feel at home. Now, I know I don't only speak to Californians. I say Californians in this one because In-N-Out is coming to town. We are getting two locations at the current moment, one at the Village, which is Fairview and Eagle. I've heard that's Idaho's busiest intersection. I could be proven wrong on that and have no problem saying that, but I've heard it is the busiest intersection, which makes sense why they put it there. Awesome location, that is gonna be packed. It's got a drive-through that can fit 41 cars, so it's expecting quite the traffic. The other location is actually in Boise because the village is in Meridian. Boise Town Square Mall is the old mall. They're knocking down Pier 1 and they're going to put there an in and out. That is crazy to think that we're going to have an in and out. No longer do you have to drive to Salt Lake or, you know, wait till you get off the plane in California. Although for me, in and out is honestly, it's just a good burger. It's a good fast food burger. I'm going to still prefer I grow up a burger in my own backyard. What makes Boise a great place to live and work and move to? Guys, it's the people like you moving here. That is what drives Boise. And when I say Boise, I don't mean the city of Boise necessarily because Boise Central is actually a little bit more non-conservative. So let's review what makes Boise so great. Guys, I promise you, no matter what the news tells you, it's not because of the world's greatest hikes or waterfalls or kayaks or camping or UTVing, ATVing, hiking trails, skiing, whatever. It's not that, I promise you. It's because people like you are escaping their woke state and they're coming to conservative America known as Boise, Idaho. Guys, if you want to know about the nine cities I recommend are in the Treasure Valley, I put them in the order of what I think is the best to, to the not Best, and you can check those out there. That's my Boise's top nine. That's an awesome video. It's one of my first videos I ever put out and it is still one of my best videos. Now guys, a friendly reminder to contact the world's best realtor if you're moving to Boise. I, I He's a pretty good guy. I like him a lot. He sold, bought and sold my house for me as well. He's amazing. He's been doing real estate. Okay, I've been doing real estate for the last seven years or so, and I was doing praising before that for a couple. And I love Boise. I'm born and raised here. I love real estate. I love keeping Idaho, Idaho. So if that's you, get here. Keep Idaho, Idaho. Keep the values strong. And you can call, text, or email, because like I said before, there really is no greater compliment that you like this video than a phone call, a text, or an email saying you have a question, say you're moving here. I actually had my neighbor and I kid you not, he moved across the street and he's like, hey, I saw you YouTube, and which has happened a few times. And my wife, <laughs> after we get done talking to him, he's, she's like, oh, some some compliment. He must have saw you on YouTube and not liked you. So you don't have to call, text, or email, but it really is a compliment. It really is, you know, it's why I make these videos is to hopefully help you in that process. But I also just love talking about Boise. So if that's you, please call, text, or email, and I would love to help you. And they are doing great things with Google's Wood Glitz Cam. They're located in the uh they're located about eagle on the freeway they have those jeez why am i struggling Ooh.